This is creepy as heck. So somehow this guy got into the Sesame Street world. We have to find another radio to wake up. I think it's going to be over in that store. Hey, and he's right there. Yes, I can. Oh, wait, there's another key. Hold up. In the Okay, I got the real gate key. I'm gonna get back over there then, guys. I hope this is the solution. Oh! What the freak? So what is going on guys, this is Ryan here and welcome back to 3 Random Games. The series where we find 3 random games on the internet and play them just for this video. But for this one, it's no ordinary episode. For this video guys, I decided to take a creepy look at some childhood cartoon horror games. And I have found 3 which I think are going to be ridiculously scary. For this one as well guys, you notice how there was a lack of an intro with the 3 Random Games forehead junk? We gotta summon him this time. We gotta begin by turning out the lights. The next step is finally lighting a candle. Come on. Dang it. Freak, come on. What the heck? With the candle lit, guys, if we round it three times and place it then to our face, the unthinkable may happen. <laughs> yeah. So there you go. Welcome back guys to three random games. This episode is going to be a good one. I found a load of games by the same creator of 3AM at the Custy Crab. So it's going to be a spooky time. If you guys do enjoy this episode, definitely be sure to leave me that like rating down below. It's always appreciated. Now let's get straight into these games. The first game in the list guys is called A Nightmare on Sesame Street. So we can kind of see where this one's going here. Though I need my glasses to protect me from the spooks this game may offer. I think this is like a crossover of, well, Sesame... Oh my god, was that Almo? I mean, Almo, what the heck happened firstly? And secondly, like, okay, uh, no comment. Thankfully, Almo decided to put this on his wall. I'm not sure why, but it's actually helping us out. So I, I guess he knew it'd be controlled at some point. WASD to move, left shift to sprint, E to interact, F to turn on your flashlight, so standardized controls. Let's put the radio on. Hmm, the radio's dead. I need to find another to wake up. So we're- Oh, of course, a nightmare! So our objective then is to find something to wake ourselves up with. That radio, as said before, is completely dead, so that's not gonna help. We better get looking. I guess we don't exactly know where we are right now? Like, is this even a house? I don't know, guys. I'm kind of concerned right now. Let's keep moving on through then. So this door is already open. Red, green, blue. Hi. What is that sound? That sound like a, a hook scraping on something? Cash singing, slashing you back again? Room 201. So are we in like a hotel or something? Look, 202. There's other people within those rooms. We can't interact. Those guys, I guess, are still asleep. Closing the apartment doors is the only way to- Wait, for what the freak? I mean, I thought like the nightmare thing would be Freddy Krueger. Freddy Krueger inside of Sesame Street. Are you serious right now? Oh, crap. Almo scared Wimper. <laughs> it's actually talking from his context as well. And like, hold up. Press E to close up the door. Yeah, we're not going out there just yet. <gasps> Wait, what was that? What? Guys, can you see that? If I back, can I turn my flashlight off? <gasps> Maybe we can see it. There was something out there just then. It had like a freaking bulbous head. Like, uh, we've been chased down by freaking Humpty Dumpty. No offense. I mean, if that's the killer, by all means, you look cool. But any other person, you look kind of stupid. Let me just go. Hold on. There is someone there. Look at this job. What on earth is that? I kind of don't want to go near him. Do I need to be out here as such? Like, I probably do, but like, why? Oh, what the? Oh, okay. This is kind of weird. So, closed doors is safety. Oh. Uh, Please don't tell me you can open it. Uh, find another ra- He's literally right out that freaking door, dude. <laughs> oh my gosh, listen to this, dude. This is creepy as heck. So somehow this guy got into the Sesame Street world. We have to find another radio to wake up. I think it's going to be over in that store. Hey, and he's right there. Yes, I can. Oh my good- Wait, is he gone? He kind of does the same teleportation thing that the hassling, the slash fling, the, the, the plash fling, you know what I mean. He's going that way. I'm gonna run. You can't hide oh my me. god. I really can't. He's so quick. All right, I gotta. Oh, run, run. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm just gonna stab me like that, huh? How about we try the back door here, you know? Nice, quiet alleyway. I mean, Almo is scared, but this may be the safer route to go. Got a trash can there. Let's keep moving down here. Maybe the further away we can get from Freddy, the more successful this journey is gonna be. Wait, what? What was that? What? I was just about to start talking, then like a boom. Wait, what? In here? It was locked. Oh, they know. They're playing it smart. They're like, I don't even want to wake up. You know what? If Freddy Krueger's here, he can stay. Subway. It was locked again. Uh, a plantation. So, doors are open. Can we close them? We can't. Dang. Loads of seeds and plants. I mean, a very, very linear store just literally sells two kinds of things. And it leads straight out the back. So, the owner of this place, like, did they just dart? Kind of feels like they ran from the back here. Where they went, who knows? Maybe they had the best idea here, though. This door at the back, again, is open. This might be the store we need to go in as well, though. Let me just check. Found it. Am I good? 
Do I wake up? Is that it? Oh no, that wasn't enough to wake me up. I need to find another freaking radio. Freaking heavy sleepers. Like seriously, even in the face of death, they'd rather sleep. Okay, Freddy's there. Oh my gosh. I might let him walk past and then I think I'm going to check inside this store, you know. We're going to go in here, guys. I'm going in crouched. Okay, I don't know where it could be. Do I hear him? I don't... Oh, I don't know. I know he's definitely to my left-hand side, even though the camera says I'm pointing to the right. Do I move or do I, like, sit here, like... Guys, what would you do, huh? What, what, what do you do? Do anything? Am I dead? I kind of think so, man. I kind of think so. Okay, cut the freaking side music. Oh, dude, he saw me straight up. I am so far away. There is no way I can escape this. Does this door locked? Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I'm done. I'm so done. He's right there. I mean, hey, Freddy. How's it going? Like, can you just leave me? Please, please. Don't get me. Don't... Are you kidding? It randomizes every time? Oh, no way. Dang, that means we've got to keep on the lookout for everything, you know? Just checking out the flower store again. Radio isn't in here, nor is it within this kind of area. The grocery store. Hmm. How close do I really want to move towards Freddy? I don't know where he is whatsoever. Maybe if I move quick, I may have more of a chance. Just move from the grocery. Wait, what's this? One, two, book on my shoe. Three, four, knock at the door. Five, six, pick up stick. Seven, eight, lay them straight. Nine, ten, a big fat hen. Oh my god, is that the rhyme of Freddy? <laughs> okay then, guys. I was looking everywhere. I didn't see a single radio. So I'm going to try this one more time. You know, we're going to try and find these radios. We're going to find two, I think, in total. Aha! It's back here again. Okay. Play that jam. That'll do. So I need to find the other radio. Oh, are you kidding me? I'm dead. I'm dead. You cannot escape him once he sees you. I'm gonna try, guys. I think this is the safety of the hotel. No, wait. This over here. Come on. I don't know where he's behind me. Come on. We're so close. Go, 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 go. And... Yeah, this is impossible. This is freaking impossible. You can't. Yeah. You can't play Ring and Roses around a table who just slapped you up like that. Ah. Uh, um... Okay, yeah, Curse is kind of hovering around this right now, you know. Welcome, guys, to a game called Dora is Dead. Now, that's a blunt statement, so I'm going to start this up and say if... Do Wait, hold up. That's, that says not. I, I only just saw that. Here we go, guys. So we wake up on a cold, cemented floor. Objective, find a way out. That's literally it. Oh, my gosh. So someone must have put us in here, barricaded us also from the inside. So, like, they're in with us. This music, though, this is kind of creepy, right? So we walk through here. We can run again. Barricaded ways. This is like a confined way. We have to... Oh, there's arrows even on the floor. Okay, someone's definitely been here. So objective is simply just to find a way. That's all we can do. And uh, okay, right. I'll see you in the next game. Just kidding, guys. Clearly, this isn't the objective yet. We have to try and find a way to escape. Is this some kind of cargo facility, maybe? Seems to be packing something. And why the freak is Dora in this place? What? Uh, maybe that was just me. You know, maybe there truly is no terror again. I could have easily kicked a box or something, right? <laughs> Wait, what? Um, what on earth? A gate, this looks like my way out. Uh, excuse me, girl, have you seen the way out? No? Okay. Is that Dora? Are you kidding me right now? That is freaking gross. And I'm sorry if that's offensive to you, but seriously, you're gross. Oh no, that sounds like Dora. Uh, also, this guy is extremely delayed with his reactions. Where are we gonna head? We've got a left way here. Uh, that's a dead end, no thanks. What the freak? Like, mannequins? What on earth? Freak, oh my god, no, she's still there. What the heck? What? Or is that... Okay, I don't even know what's happening right now. We got bulbs everywhere. Come on, where is this way out, you know? It's gotta exist. What's this? What? I'm gonna tear your goods out and devour them like a savage. Oh, I think you're right. Hold on, let me try and just juke this one out. Easy, break those freaking legs. What on earth is that down the very... What does that say? Find a hammer to remove the nails. Key and... So we're looking for a hammer. I've just been looking for a key. Have I seen a hammer anywhere? Oh, wait, new ways have been opened up. Where they were once barricaded, I now have access. I've just realized. So this here, what does it say? Uh, that bee killed me. Now your next swiper. Oh, oh, wait, what's this? A glowing... That's it. What is this? What? Oh my god, that'll come in handy. Okay, just managed to... Oh. Uh, Dora, look. Dead body. Oh. Okay, get around her. She's very easy to avoid, thank goodness. But what? I think Dora's behind me, maybe. Wait. Okay, where is it? Where is it? I don't know. I need to do this, then I can get out that way there. Right, let's go. How do we... How do... Okay, let's go. Let's go. Take the key. Go, go, go. Take it, take it. Okay, I see Dora. We got some time to think, okay? Process. That was easy. All we gotta do is get to the gate, and we are free. The entrance, yes. Should be a straight run. This right here is the freaking gate. Now, Dora, I'm sorry, but that was not fun to play with you, okay? Bruh. Are you... Are you freaking kidding me? The real gate must be so, so there is another way out. It is the right key, just not for that gate there. I'm gonna run across this wall here. Let me just see. 
Oh, this doesn't look good. Looks like a load of gate. I gotta get over to the other side, guys. You see there's like a light over there? If I maybe can get over in that direction, there's gotta be some kind of gate that will allow us to get free. Let me backtrack on where we first came from. There was a barricaded up door, you guys remember? Yes, just here. This is good. This is real good. And then, yes, this is it. Is it? Wait, what? This looks like it might be good, you see? There's a way out just here. And I think there may be the second gate that it's talking about. This looks like a straight run, you see, for a reason. We're outside. We are on the other side of this place, too. Okay, I don't see no exit. What the f- Guys, this doesn't look good. There is no exit point. I gotta see where Dora is now to plan accordingly. Wait, there's another key. Hold up. In the Okay, I got the real gate key. I hope. Uh, what? Okay, I'm gonna get back over there then, guys. I hope this is the solution. Oh! What the freak? Wait, what the- I checked out the ending of the door is dead, guys. It really isn't worth it. You literally just walk out of the gate after that. So I'm gonna kind of assume that that's good enough. Next up, we got Scooby Horror. You notice how this guy always slows down the music for his intros? Let's do this anyway. So, smoke. So, oh, we're playing a Shaggy, I think, in this case. Smoky Lake. This is then like a Scooby-Doo adventure, guys. I think it takes after one of the episodes where you're being chased down by like a submerged looking dude. I have no freaking idea how else to word it. So, uh, I guess we're walking through this. What the freak? There's a light source just over here. Okay, let's try and find out what this is. Maybe like a power generator or something? Oh, it's like a window. Can see through, though. Okay, I don't know what the heck is going on. So we maybe have to try and find a way in there, which I think is going to be if we follow the wall, then take a left, we'll probably find a door. What? Oh, what the heck? Uh, I mean, he's found the entrance for me, like you see. Oh, what? Whoa, I'm not fun. Can we not? Can we not do that, please? I'm going to go in here. What? Wait, why have I done this? I realized I just ran in here with that dude following me still. Loads of, like, balls in here. Like, what the heck? I don't know how else to describe this, really. Let's keep going. Whoa. Look at this. Like an endless corridor. Okay, I don't think the things can actually follow me through here, so that proved to be, like, a flank route. We're inside something right now. Seems to be some kind of uh, factory, albeit, like, uh, what the heck? That's pretty much, guys, my description of whatever is happening right now. It seems to have turned into, like, a maze-type game. Got grass growing in here. That's a dead end. Wait, what? Where is it? Where is it? That sounded like one of the things again. And I have no idea where the freak it is. I'm all back over by the van, so let's go. Oh, Scooby's already home or something, yeah? <laughs> oh, no, he's not. We've got to go back in the woods. Why would Scooby go running off, huh? Especially in this situation, in the dead of night, where in this world, there's always a monster around every corner. What was he thinking, huh? Or maybe that's just it. Maybe he wasn't. Oh, a small little foundation. Let's check inside. Oh, okay. Let me just, uh, let me just press E on this radio. Uh, you must find the button to act that activates this gate. Is Scooby in there? My guess is that the button will be over by the other facility. No, please don't. Please not again. What is this? It's like a destroyed thing. It's like a book. And one of the... Okay, that's like a chopped down tree. Oh, there's another build. Okay, this place is strange. We've got buildings everywhere. Some kind of warehouse facility thing as well. Like, what is happening? We're going to try and figure this out, though. So, there's like a storage facility. Oh, no. I think by going up here, I've just sealed my fate. Yeah, fate has been sealed. I can't jump. I'm incapable. Take me. All right. There you go. That was nice and dramatic. Hold on. There's something in this corner here. You see that? Can I, uh, can I access that? Whoa. Oh, so it's like a spill. Something spilled, I guess, in the area. Maybe like radiation or something. I made my way, though, guys, back over toward this kind of cargo place. I think as well, I'm literally being followed. So same scenario. I'm going to go and check back through this area again. Maybe. Hi. Wait, what? Hello? What? What? You found Scooby-Doo and I returned to the mystery van and escape. Wait, what? What? Wait, what, 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 if I can be one of these games, I will be... Wait, what just hit me? Um, maybe looking at them triggers me to get hurt? I have no idea, guys. Let's go under that assumption then to play it safe. We've got Scooby-Doo, guys. We've still got him. He is still caged up, granted. Maybe that's for the best, though. I mean, he would have... What is hitting me? I don't know. Maybe by him still being in the cage, though, he can't escape and run here again. There's the safety of the mystery van or the mystery machine, as some might call it. Let's go. Once we get in this, we should be okay. And we escaped. Oh, yes. I thought it was going to be a single game here. Thank goodness I did. All right, guys. Well, there we go. That was another episode of Three Random Games. Three childhood horrors for this one. This one was a really fun episode, guys. It was nice to have, like, a constant theme throughout all of it. All of these games were also made by the same developer as the 3 a.m. of the Krusty Krab, so you can see the similarities as well. I'm looking forward to seeing if this guy does make more, like, cartoon horrors. My favorite personal would be a Courage the Cowardly Dog one. Just saying. Like, I'm not saying you should, but I'm kind of saying you should. But if you guys did enjoy this video, why not drop me that like, crane, and hey, if you're new around here, why not subscribe for more videos just like this one right here. So thank you so much for watching this video guys i've caused up you did enjoy and i will of course see you on the next one